In 2010, Andy Sadjevic won his first Nebraska Amateur Championship here at Happy Hollow Club. He went on to win in 2011 and then again in 2013. Now, seven years later, he's 29, not 23, and instead of going into his senior year of college, he is taking care of his five months old son, Luke. Andy Sadjevic, congratulations, first of all, on your win. That was awesome. What was the key to staying consistent all week and just knowing that you needed to play your game instead of trying to play against the leaderboard? Yeah, thanks, Will. Um, you know, I've done it enough that, um, you know, 72 holes, you know it's just going to be a marathon. Um, so you, when you tee it on what was to, on Monday, um, you know you're just going to add them up and um, you got to try and eliminate eliminate those big numbers and try and eliminate any mistakes you can. Um, so yeah, I played aggressive for pretty much the entire tournament, um, you know, faltered a little bit down the stretch, but um, yeah, it was, yeah, I played, I hit it well uh, and then I made some, made some really good putts when I needed to. Yeah, I think your scrambling ability around the greens, getting up and down just from everywhere, I think that was the best out of anybody I saw on the field this week. How important was that to your game? And, I mean, do you think you could have won it without that? No, Yeah, that was huge. Um, no, I mean, golf course like this, uh, especially today, the wind picked up a little bit. Rough is thick. Um, you know, if you're out of position off the tee, it makes it tough to get back in position around the green. Um, and then, you know, if you are in position around, you know, off the tee, you you got to make sure you're hitting greens in regulation. Um, I did a, a great job of scrambling, especially today, um, and uh, yeah, that was definitely a key the whole week. Yeah, I mean, and then just, it has been seven years since your last championship, yeah. not to date you or anything, but I mean, you probably would be one of the most consistent players in our field every year. How do you just manage to do that, especially since, you know, golf is not your full-time job anymore? Right, right. No, um you know, I'm, I'm very fortunate um, in my career. I'm able to get out a little bit and play. Um, just starting a family, uh, you know, golf has been a little bit more limited, uh, but I've still been able to, to manage my time and sneak out and, and, uh, and play here and there. Um, you know, it's one of those things that when you are able to get out, it, you know, whether it's a tournament, whether it's uh, around with friends or around with clients, uh, it, you just enjoy it a little bit more because you're not able to do it as much. Yeah, I mean, and then you get, you pl again, a little bit of flashback to 2013. You played with Calvin Freeman in the yeah. final round both years. How was that? I mean, you guys looked like you were having a great time out there. Yeah, he's a he's a great guy, and uh, hats off to him. He played great this week. Uh, he didn't didn't play as well as he probably would have liked today, uh, but he's just a phenomenal guy. Uh, yeah, I was, uh, I was talking to Mr. Antonio um, and talking a little bit about how very similar it was actually not only to 2013 but also to 2010 um, if I remember right the wind kind of picked up uh, that last day and uh, scores were a little bit higher course was tough um, and it, it, I did I made the turn and kind of thought wow this is this is pretty similar some pars are going to be really good on the back nine and then finally you know today at awards uh, you're, you're one of five players to win this championship four times and you did it with your dad who you play with and against all the time, and your five-month-old son at Luke at the award ceremony. What, sure. What was what? What did that mean to you today? Yeah, that's that's incredibly special. Um, obviously, Luke being a newborn is is just a, a complete blessing to our family. Um, and then the experiences that I've been able to have with my my dad uh, throughout the years are just you know second to none. Uh, you can't put a price tag on that. And we've had so much fun playing this game, whether it was competitively or just for fun. Uh, just incredible memories that uh, I think we both both absolutely cherish. All right. Well, there you have it, everybody. Your 112th Nebraska Amateur Champion, Andy Sajovic. Andy, congratulations. Thanks, Will.